Hi everybody, my name is Elisa Parhad and I am the author of Los Angeles Is. I live and I work in Los Angeles and I created this book as a showcase of familiar scenes in the city. So we'll start with the end pages. So these are four different styles of houses that we would see all across the city. Do you recognize any? Do you live in something that looks like one of these styles? I do. I live in a house that looks just like this. It's a bungalow and it's in Pasadena. So this is the title page and it shows us an area of the city long before Los Angeles was even a city. You can see woolly mammoths, which are now extinct, caught in a pit of tar. So if you've ever gone to the La Brea Tar Pits, maybe you've seen this same scene as well as the collection of bones of dire wolves and woolly mammoths that um, scientists have pulled out of the ground of animals that got stuck in the gooey substance. So now we'll begin. Los Angeles is surfing waves, fashion faves. And I want to point out the illustrator, his name is Alexander Vidal. He has two little dogs at home, and you can see a little dog here in this lady's purse. And if you look really closely, you'll see a lot of little dogs in here. Citrus fruits, long commutes. Do you have any citrus fruits in your yard? Maybe a lemon or an orange or a grapefruit tree? Los Angeles used to have a lot of citrus um, trees that were planted all along the foothills of the city, but not so much anymore. But we do have a lot of traffic in the city, unfortunately, <clears throat> which is the long commutes. And this shows, this page shows um, the 110 freeway, and it was the very first freeway ever built in the whole United States and it connects my house in Pasadena to downtown Los Angeles. Canyon views, movie crews, and on this page right here you can see this is the Griffith Observatory. You can go, it's a free museum, and you can go and learn about the stars and planets and space. And something else that you can see in the canyon page is a very shy animal that lives in the wilderness areas of the city. Um, and scientists have named one of them P-22. Late night diners, mod designers, healthy eats, space age feats. Now this page, page shows a building that looks like an alien spaceship landed kind of upside down, but it's actually a real building called the Theme Building. And above it, you can see a 747 jet carrying the Endeavour space, um, spacecraft to the California Science Center. Deep red tile, oh, mission style. So this shows the Union, uh, Union Station, which is a big, big railway um, uh, station in the city and you can catch trains um, there to just about anywhere. Calaveras, bygone eras. Now Calaveras, you might know that word if you speak Spanish, it means skull. And people dress up like this for the Dia de los Muertos celebration or the Day of the Dead. And my favorite place to celebrate that is at Olvera Street, which is right across the street from Union Station. Palm Line Streets, food truck treats. Low ride cruising, poolside snoozing. And you might notice the bridge on this street. It crosses um, the Los Angeles River, which there might have been water in it when you crossed it, maybe not. But it's a really important place for birds and you can see an egret that maybe got a little lunch or something to drink there. Days of fun in sand and sun. 
I think one of the best parts of our city are the piers and the beaches. What about you? And now this is the very end. These are the same kinds of houses that you can see that were at the front of the book. But now it's nighttime. So I want you to look really closely and see if you can see some of the wildlife that comes out at night. You can look for a skunk, a possum, or a raccoon. So that is the end of the book. And now I have a short craft I'd like to do with you where we'll make our own houses out of paper bags. So on the end pages, we saw the four different styles of houses, and maybe your house looked like one of those, but maybe not. But what we can do now is create a house that you would love to live in, and it can be anything you want. So I created a house. This is just out of a paper bag. This is one of the houses I made. It looks like it lost a little cover here, but it has three windows on the second floor, and some a beautiful, beautiful wildflower garden down below. And my second house that I made is right here, and it has a rounded door because I love hobbit houses. And also has an orange tree that is so close to the window, I can just reach out and grab an orange. So I'm excited to see what you'll make. Now I'll show you how to make it. So you need a couple of different things. You need a brown bag. You need some pieces of paper that you've crumbled up. It could be newspaper or a magazine, maybe. And a stapler. A stapler and some colored paper and then some pens or paints or markers. So we'll make one right now. So you're gonna open up the bag and stuff it with your pieces of paper. I'm gonna really stuff mine. And I'm gonna hold it like that. And you can fold it down. And with any piece of paper, you can make it any color and you might, if you want any roof tiles like I made on mine, I put some roof tiles on mine. You might want to put it on before you put put it on the um, bag. But you go like this. And then you staple it on. And I did three on mine. And from here, you can make windows and doors you could make a slide coming out from one of the windows. Um, you can make trees or gardens. Whatever it is you want, you can make. As they say, the limit is your imagination. And I hope you learned something today about Los Angeles.